Hi, my name is Hugo. I'm with Penguin Random House in our library group, and I'm excited to talk to you about some spring and summer comics uh, that I'm looking forward to. The first is Lore Olympus, Volume 2. This is the second book in the Lore Olympus series based on the incredible popu incredibly popular and number one webtoon comic created by the Eisner-nominated Rachel Smith. This series reimagines the Greek mythos with a modern romantic take on the tale of Hades and Persephone. In volume two, this sharply perceptive and propulsive love story between two Greek gods continues amidst the backdrop of scandalous gossip, wild parties, and forbidden love, told with lavish artwork and contemporary sensibilities. This volume collects episodes 26 through 49 of the Webtoon series and includes a brand new exclusive short story. This is perfect for comic and graphic novel readers who also love to read romantic retellings such as Malice by Heather Walter, Uprooted by Naomi Novik, or The Bear and the Nightingale by the fabulous Catherine Arden. DC League of Super Pets. There is nothing that the Super Pets love more than spending time with their heroes but they're finding it difficult to be taken seriously as members of the team when their humans just don't understand them. When a magical imp from the fifth dimension arrives in Metropolis with a plan to wreak a little chaos and devastation, the Justice League is caught in his trap. Somehow, in some way, the super pets will need to come up with a plan to prevent the destruction of the city and to rescue their human counterparts. It's fluffy, adorable, and downright thrilling. The story of these fun furry wonders is perfect for middle grade readers and reluctant readers alike. The Penguin Classics Marvel Collection presents specially curated comic book anthologies of the origin stories, seminal tales, and characters of the Marvel Universe, exploring Marvel's transformative and timeless influence on an entire genre of fandom and fantasy. At this point, it really is impossible to imagine American pop culture without Marvel Comics. The Amazing Spider-Man goes back to the original source material with key stories from the first two years of The Amazing Spider-Man, 1962 through 1964. This offers fresh insight into the character development and the personalities of his creators includes rarely reprinted non-superhero stories, early letter pages, and supplemental materials shedding light on Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. Captain America. This debuted in 1941, almost a year before the events of Pearl Harbor, and was initially conceived by Joe Simon and Jack Kirby as a pop culture argument for U.S. intervention in the European war against fascism. This collection includes his first appearances uh, from 1941, alongside key examples of his first solo series in the 60s, in which the newly resurrected hero of World War II struggles to find his place in an unfamiliar war, paralleling with the nation itself. Black Panther. This anthology includes the 1966 origin story by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby and the critically acclaimed Panther's Revenge from the character's 1970 solo series by Don McGregor, Rich Buckler, and Billy Graham. Both series reflect eras in America's struggle for civil rights that they were published in. This is also a great tie-in with the History of Black Panther podcast hosted by the incredible Nick Stone. Thank you for listening to my staff picks.